Hey tennis lovers what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Tennis Love. Roger Federer and Serena Williams share a lot of uncanny similarities. Born seven weeks apart from each other four decades ago, the duo are widely regarded as two of the best players in tennis history. They are now set to retire within weeks of each other, after Williams played the last match of her illustrious career in the US Open third round two weeks ago. Federer will call time on his career after the Labor Cup next week. Both players endured long layoffs after Wimbledon last year. While Williams has played seven singles matches this year, going 3-4, Federer is yet to play competitively and has dropped out of the ATP rankings. He will now play the last tournament of his career at the O2 in London next week, knowing that at 41, his body is not ready for more. Federer, with 20 Grand Slam titles, won his last major at the Australian Open four years ago. Williams, the Open Arab major singles leader with 23 triumphs, also won her last major title at the Australian Open, 2017. During the course of their illustrious careers, both players have triumphed at the same Grand Slam on a few occasions. On that note, Number 1. Wimbledon 03, Roger Federer, first major title, Serena Williams, 6. Two years after flooring seven-time winner, Pete Sampras in the fourth round, it was only apt that Roger Federer would make his major breakthrough at Wimbledon. Federer dropped his only set of the fortnight in the third round against Marty Fish before beating Mark Philippoussis in the final to win his first of eight Wimbledon titles. Meanwhile, Williams, who was the defending champion that year, dropped two sets in her last three matches to successfully defend her title. It was her sixth major win and second at Wimbledon. Number 2. Australian Open 07 Roger Federer 10th major title, Serena Williams, 8th. Serena Williams' victory at the 2007 Australian Open was her 8th in Grand Slams. En route to becoming the first unseeded Australian Open winner in nearly three decades, Williams dropped her first set of the fortnight against Nadia Petrova in the third round. After beating Shahar Peer 8-6 in the third in the last eight, the then world number 81 conceded only three games against Maria Sharapova in a lopsided title match to win her third Australian Open title. Meanwhile, Federer also won his third Australian Open that year, beating Fernando Gonzalez in the final, which was his 10th major title. His triumph marked the first time in 27 years, Jorn Borg, 1980 Roland Garros, that a male player won a slam without dropping a set. It was Federer's record equaling 7th straight Grand Slam final, winning 5. Number 3. US Open 08. Roger Federer. 13th major title. Serena Williams, 9th. Roger Federer was the undisputed king of New York in 2008, winning a record extending 5th straight title to move level with Jimmy Connors and Pete Sampras. Having endured debilitating defeats to Rafael Nail in the Roland Garros and Wimbledon finals earlier in the year, Federer was determined not to end the year without a major title. He needed five sets to get past Igor Andreev in the fourth round and four sets against Novak Djokovic in the last four before beating first-time major finalist Andy Murray to win his 13th major title. It would prove to be Federer's last triumph at Flushing Meadows. Number 4. Wimbledon 09. Roger Federer, 15th major title, Serena Williams, 11th. Weeks after winning his first Roland Garros title to complete a career Grand Slam, Roger Federer became the first player in nearly three decades, Jorn Borg, 1980, to complete the Roland Garros Wimbledon double. After dropping only one set en route to his seventh straight Wimbledon final, Federer seemed to meet his match in Andy Roddick. However, he saved four consecutive set points to avoid falling behind two sets. Federer then triumphed 16-14 in the decider to become the first male player to win 15 Grand Slam titles. Number 5. Australian Open 10, Roger Federer, 16th major title, Serena Williams, 12th. Serena Williams successfully defended her title at the 2010 Australian Open, after recovering from a set and 4-0 down against Victoria Azarenka in the last eight. She went the distance against wildcard Justine Hennen to win her fifth title at Melbourne Park. With the win, her 12th at Grand Slams, Williams became the first woman player in the Open era to win five Australian Open titles. Meanwhile, in the men's draw, top seed Roger Federer also dropped only two sets en route to the title. Igor Andreev in the first round and Nikolay Davidenko in the quarterfinals. 
Federer then beat Murray in straight sets to win his fourth Australian Open title, which was also his 16th major. So guys this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this we end our video. Hope you liked the video.